AskSteveForFree.com. It's the Ask Steve for Free program. I'm Steve Garland, along with Stephen Fundos, the managing partner of the United Law Center. We get lots of questions off of the website that Steve answers for free and his team of attorneys, as well as the seminars we've done over the last oh, yeah. few months. And over the course of the past couple of years, if you distill it down to the essence of why people are having problems with their mortgage, it boomerangs back to the banks. And the difference between the way we used to see them in the movies, in the right. Frank Capra films, where they're your friend, and who's running the banks now and what yeah. they're doing. Three truths well, in, that you talk in about. Understanding exactly what you've just talked about, how the banks have changed the way uh, we do banking here in America. It's not like it used to be where you'd be able to go to your, your local banker and you would know them and you would have this close relationship. Now you're talking about huge conglomerates that are uh, simply out to make money. And that is their sole purpose uh, as, as an entity of a bank. Their sole purpose is simply to make money. So from that, we've developed three truths that you need to know and understand. And if you understand these, you'll be way ahead of the game. The number one truth is the bank is not your friend. They're not there to help you. They are not there because uh, of your hardship. They don't care about your hardship. They don't care about your house. They don't care about your family. I know that sounds harsh, but it's true. The letters they send to you about you know, how they want to help you, the flowery language they use, and, and how they can assist you, and they want to be your uh, bank, and so forth and so on, I'm sorry, but don't buy it. Uh, the, again, their sole purpose in, in life, and this is, this is quantified by what's come down by the Supreme Court over you know, hundreds of years now, their sole purpose is to make money. So understand that they're not to help you, they're there to help themselves, okay? The second truth you have to understand is that the modification process that you keep going back to, many of you out there keep going back to trying to get a modification. The bank's going to give me a loan because mod. Because they it tell you, good. sure, they tell you, come on in, we'll give you a modification. The administration is telling you, the modification process is the way to go to get yourself out of this problem. Don't buy it. The modification process is part and parcel of their whole sham. And believe me, this is a sham, what's happening. What's happened over the last 15 years was planned out, piece by piece. And, and, and you, if you want to see more on this particular subject, we have a segment from 60 Minutes that's on the yeah, website. It's linked to the website. You can Big check expose. It, out. That, you know, it, it, it kind of verifies what I'm saying. Um, so uh, believe me, the modification process, uh, the, the, the reality is the banks make more money not giving you a modification than they would if they gave you a modification. Mm -hmm. So there's no incentive for them to give you a modification. Right. In They're, fact, and actually, default in, 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 in reality, this. when you go into default, one of the reasons why they ask you to stop paying for three months is because that triggers an insurance policy they have so that they can get insurance money when you go into default. That's why after the three months, they say, OK, now we're going to put you into a trial plan. And you're thinking, well, I was just already paying. Why am I starting to pay again? Why did you ask me to stop? They asked you to stop because it triggers insurance for them. Mm -hmm. The third truth, and this is just reality, folks. If you want to save your house, and remember, we have all kinds of options at United Law Center. Right. If you don't want to save your house, there's you can do a short sale. There's bankruptcy. There's right. uh, a you know, deed in lieu. There's a walk away programs we can do. But if you want to save your house, and if you want to seek some sort of principal reduction by uh, obtaining some sort of award, financial award against the bank or a settlement, uh, and if you want to get rid of your arrearages and get your interest rate lowered and fixed to a 30-year 30, uh, 30 fixed, there's one way and one way only that I know how to do that, and that is by filing a lawsuit so we put pressure on the banks for them to work with you. That's the only way they're, we're gonna, they're gonna react. If I knew of a better way, if I knew of an easier way, believe me, I would be doing it. Uh, you know, filing a lawsuit, uh, while difficult, it's not as, as onerous a proposition as you might think either. Especially because you've done it hundreds of times Oh, now. we've stopped hundreds of foreclosures uh, for people that are now in their house. So I know that uh, if we've stopped hundreds for others, we can stop them for you as well. Exactly. So what do you need to do? Take action. The little red button on the home page of this website will allow you to ask Steve a question for free. If you don't have a question and you just want to say, 
help, I'm in foreclosure, or help, I think I'm going to lose my home, that's great because the first consultation is also free. But none of it happens unless you take action. You have to take action.